it's going. Sorry about that. Everything seems to be. No, it's not working very well. Still doing it. Still doing a thing where I continue to talk. Okay, great. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Amuse This. This is a comedy show featuring local talent and out of towners as well. I am your host, Chaz Logan Hyde. I'll be here with you all night. Thank you all for being here. We're doing a fun thing tonight. Actually, we're a, we're a raising it's a fundraiser tonight. All the proceeds from the door and this wonderful tip hat over here will be going to support the HQ Comedy Club we're trying to put up here in Eugene. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We have a place, we'll all have a home for all these comics. So any money you have that you can donate, please put it over there next to that weird picture I'm not going to say anything about. <laughs> Excellent. I'm Chaz Logan Hyde. I've mentioned that a few times already. Uh, I look like a Mount Irish Macaulay Culkin. I can't help that. I'm slowly turning into Princess Diana with a goatee. I look great. It's like the best lottery ticket I could have ever won. I look, I look, I look interesting. I don't know. This applause is weird. Like, people will applaud for anything, for the most part. I don't know. I have a fun game I like to test it out with. It's like, just everybody give it up for Iraq! See, you don't know the context of it, so you're like, what is, what is, what is he, what does he mean by that? Should I applaud? Let's try another round. Give it up for contraceptives! A, a different reaction from that a little bit. I don't know. You guys are uh, you guys are responsible. Good job. Good job. I almost wish my dad were one. I'm gonna be here. Give it up for birthday cake. All that good shitty icing. I love birthday cake. Whose cake is it? I don't care. Where did the cake come from? Let's dig in. So good. Well, that was fun. Do you guys like acid? You've done acid. Yeah, I'm okay. slight on that. Acid is fun. Uh, I don't suggest uh, taking four hits of it your first time ever. That's what I did, and it was a uh, holy shit. I'm, I'm glad I'm still here, and I'm not just talking on the street to myself. It was very weird. It's like, do you see? When you do acid, there's there's green and red laser lights predicting every path in your life. It's true. It's right in your peripherals. It's the thing that happens. I thought I was dying at a certain point after I was about to blow my friend on the porch. He didn't know about it. I thought we were telepathically communicating this. We weren't. It was, it was weird. I didn't tell him. So <laughs> more than happy to tell you about it. Because everything's fun. We're cool. It's like acid. I thought I was dying. I couldn't find the light in the bathroom. And I thought I was dying. So, like, to counteract that, I just put my head in the toilet. That's, that's just how I died, I think. I don't know. I died in the bathroom! I came out a new person! What the fuck did you do today? It's crazy. So crazy. The only thing I got out of it, I don't know, just weird thoughts. Like, do you think if a house gets bit by a werewolf, it turns into a warehouse? That's a weird thought I had on acid. I don't know. It's very strange. Has anybody been to Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah! Lately? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! What are you doing there? <laughs> I'm not allowed at Chuck E. Cheese anymore. Not for anything I did. But just like when you're a single adult male with no kids and you look like me, they don't want you there. They just really don't want you there. I just want to play in the ball pit. <laughs> you gotta get the fuck out. It is, everything's upsetting. Like everyone wants to protect their children. I want to make it mandatory at Chuck E. Cheese. Only patrons allowed there are children. And then the only employees allowed at Chuck E. Cheese are also children. So we can just beat everything out. There's some legal loopholes to jump through, but I think everyone will be more comfortable that way. There's fucking kids in the back smoking cigarettes. It's like, God, I can't stand this place. It smells like fucking feet in there, man. I've gotta quit this job. I had a weird, it like, this, the restaurant ruined my life at age six because I was in there in like the phone room where like the robots play music. I didn't know there were robots yet, but Chucky's jamming. And then this other guy comes in in a Chuck E. Cheese outfit. So there's two Chuck E. Cheeses yeah. in the same room at the same time. I'm like, 
this fairy tale is unraveling rapidly. Just, what's going on? And this asshole takes his hat off. He takes the head off. Why would you do that? I wasn't the only kid there. There was like fucking 40 other kids. And they're just, oh, he is real. I've just damaged him. I just got real damaged I'm trying to trying to fucking fix my life after that. We live in a wonderful world now. It's great. You can change your gender. Everyone's allowed to. It's awesome. It's expensive. You can do it. I think um, soon we're gonna have the ability to change our race as well. And that'll be fun. If like your friend Derek is like, Derek would look so cute as a black guy. It's like, and then Derek goes and gets the procedure and he comes back to his friends. He's like, Derek, you look amazing. How are you doing? It's like, it's not Derek, it's D-Rock. Change my name. All right, it's unsensitive. I apologize. Just a weird thought. I'm slowly turning into Matthew McConaughey. My voice, my voice is just his voice. With If you, if you adjust the inflection just a little bit, I sound like I'm just a little more. You know, great thing about high school girls. Yeah. Just like that. I'd like to do the next joke as Matthew McConaughey. Hey man, how's it going? You know what? I don't trust people with dream catchers in their cars. It's bewildering. It upsets me. It raises up a question. How often do you sleep in your car? Next to that, it's a distraction. You could kill a family of four falling asleep on the I-5. <laughs> Me and Marty seen some shit out there. Let me tell you what, I'm trying to blend in these true detective jokes <laughs> that I finally watched after four years no one gives a shit about. I like to think uh, people with dream catchers in their cars like a mystic's version of a Ghostbuster. Just driving around town, collecting all the bad spirits. Everybody can sleep good at night now. Is that a good thing? I don't know. There's all the spirits in the world in that car. What happens when you flip that Datsun? Just assuming you drive a Datsun, you're gonna open the set of portal of hail. Cthulhu's gonna crawl out and give you a parking ticket. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters, what do you want? Listen, Cthulhu came out of my car. He's trying to give me a ticket right now. Sounds like a you problem. We just deal with ghosts. See ya. Oh, shit. Marty. <laughs> Didn't think I'd catch this one. You know what's stupid besides everything I said? Bloodletting. Are you guys aware bloodletting was a thing just 140 years ago as a society? We did that. We were like, Where are you sick? You got a tummy ache? Go to fucking barber. Just slit your wrist for a while. Just lay there. You'll feel better afterwards. It's great. I don't know. Like, people die from that. You know who was into bloodletting? George Washington. Do you know how George Washington died? From bloodletting! How embarrassing. That's our president. We should be making the right decisions, right? I don't think it's a far stretch to think that probably Trump is into bloodletting also. He's into piss games and stuff. Probably definitely slits his wrist every now and then. I want to feel that high. God, get on me all the young blood so I can live forever. He's Dracula. He's a leviathan in our office. I want to play a game with you real quick before I leave. Are you guys down for a game? Yeah! Cool. It's a, more of a word association thing. If you know the answer, just call it out. Bop, it's correct! You win the rest of this joke. Here it comes. Hey. I love Bop It. No, I don't. I fucking hate Bop It. It's bullshit. There's no easy mode to Bop It. It's always just difficult as possible. Gives you half a second to do something. You fuck up. It just makes fun of you. It's like, hey, good job, not. Fuck you, piece of shit. I just want to remarket the toy. I want to make it as angry as it wants to be. So just fucking spit it in it, pull it, fucking bop it! Kill your parents and don't tell them about it. Spin it. Build a doghouse for no reason. Bob it. Hey, this is Bob speaking. You think time travel doesn't exist or it does exist, but nothing important not having in your own life the merits of existence. Spin it. <laughs> this toy's fucking depressing. Putting it in the garbage. I don't like it. 
Well, I ran out of things to say. Are you guys ready to start the show? Ah!